we've got to ensure that our, our voice gets heard before December 1st. A week after the city election threatened their pet project, streetcar supporters will launch their fight to keep it alive. Good evening, everyone. Supporters of the Cincinnati streetcar aren't giving up, and they are going to rally their forces tomorrow. The $133 million project was put in question when opponent John Cranley was elected mayor by a wide margin last week. Cranley's promise to stop the streetcar has not stopped work on the project. Local 12's Joe Webb has been following that story and joins us live from over the Rhine with the latest. Joe. Well, Kit, the construction work just keeps going on on the streetcar project, going full speed ahead with construction crews continuing to lay track. John Cranley does not take office for another three weeks, so his plans to kill it just have to wait. In the meantime, Supporters are getting organized to keep the project going, and like I said, it is going. In fact, they got just another load of steel rails delivered today. No steel rails likely be in the ground when the new anti-streetcar mayor and city council take office. At Liberty and Elm this morning, a truck from Indiana delivered 13 new steel rails for the streetcar project. About a block away, they were cutting through the 19th century trolley tracks to make way for the new ones. And on Ray Street, they were rerouting sewers for the streetcar project. About $25 million has been spent already on the streetcar. Mayor-elect John Cranley said continuing the work today is childish and immature spending of taxpayer money, echoing his anger from last Wednesday. Let's not keep spending money when it looks like the clear majority and the clear mandate of yesterday's election was going in a different direction. Because of the election, Cranley says the streetcar conversation is over. But today, streetcar supporters said that's not the mayor-elect's call. And we believe that if you're elected by one in six Cincinnatians, 70% didn't vote, you need to have a conversation. And you need to have a conversation not with just those who oppose, but with the rest of us. Ryan Messer is an over-the-rhine property owner who purposely closed on his 14th Street building after the 2011 streetcar referendum passed. He is part of the coalition whose motto is, I support the streetcar, I believe in Cincinnati. They've launched a crowdfunding site and will hold a town hall meeting Thursday night to keep the conversation going. They'll also lay out their plans to keep the project alive during an over-the-rhine news conference tomorrow morning. Messer says the message is simple, that the streetcar will build the urban core, and a strong urban core is good for the entire city and the region. It's not what I think our opponents are trying to drive a bunch of kids who want a new toy. I think these are a diverse set of Cincinnati stakeholders that see a brighter future for Cincinnati than, than maybe some people think is possible. So Kit, a lot of talk from both sides, but the action really going on here in the street, the work continues, and it looks like there is no interest and no plan in getting it to stop. Now, the project manager for the streetcar project takes orders from the city manager, and no one at this point has been ordered to stop the work. Tracks will very likely be laid from Music Hall to very near Findlay Market by December 1st. Reporting live at about 15th and Elm, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Kid? Thanks, Joe. And streetcar executive John Dietrich says shutting down the project now would cost the city up to $29 million. Now, Cranley argues that it's worth paying that now instead of subsidizing the project with tax dollars down the road. 